Monday, October 6th. Right now, for everyone else who's probably watching this, it is um, Sunday evening, um, Sunday night. But for me, it is already Monday, and I thought I would film uh, this video so that you could see what I've been up to these past few days that I've been here, and so that you can see that I'm all right. <laughs> And so I will start by just giving an overview of what I've done these past few days. I arrived on October 1st. Uh, the minute I got off the plane, I took a taxi by myself. This man just approached me and was like, do you need a taxi? And I'm like, yeah, I need a taxi. And I had the information on where I need to be dropped off in Chinese. So I showed him that on my iPad. <laughs> so I got dropped off at a station where there were some sisters and then we took another taxi and they dropped me off here at Kirsten's. And then I stayed here and waited for her to come home from work. And I just got dropped off at the sister's house. She's not home yet, she's at work. And I have decided, or not that I've decided, but like for anyone who wants to know, for future reference, if you're ever going to Asia, do not pack so much. This is not Latin America <laughs> where there's like I didn't encounter that many stairs and then all of a sudden I come here and everywhere I've gone I have it's like four flights up or five no elevator so there was no brother with us this time so uh, my, the sister and I had to carry up all my luggage up the stairs by ourselves and it's really hot here humid and uh, I guess we'll we'll see how I do here I understood very little of the Chinese that was spoken, so hopefully I could catch on some more. And I guess since she's not home, I could do like a quick tour of um, where I'm going to be staying. So wait a second. Alrighty, so the door is right here, of which I entered. And then, or oh, I guess I should put some slippers on. All my junks here. So if you look this way, it looks like a, obviously a, like a dining room area. It's very pretty. There's chopsticks. And then there's like windows. <coughs> and then here is the living room. If any, I'm already leaving a mess. I had to clean my glasses and here are the keys. See, nice. Here, I guess similar to Korea, you have to recycle. And this door is closed. I assume that's for her room because this one isn't closed and it looks like focus. Looks like this would be my room. It kind of looks pretty guest roomish, and it has a bear. See, so cool. I think this is where I will be staying. Oh look, little mirror. Yep, I'm pretty sure the closet's empty. And then here is a washing machine, fridge, I don't even know what she looks like, um, so if she's in any of these pictures, I wouldn't know. Kitchen. Bathroom. That's a very interesting looking tub. And I guess in Korea they had these little back areas too. So I assume. It's um, or maybe that's the washer? I don't know. I guess we'll find out.
Yep, so that's it. Ooh, focus, focus. Come, come on, Cammy. You can do it. Oh my gosh. This door is really hard to close. Ouch. So, here it is. <sighs> Telephone. So I guess I should move my stuff to my room and drink, drink some vitamins <laughs> or something because I must have lost like a billion calories just going up these stairs. <sighs> so I guess if there's anything else to show you, I will film again. <laughs> All right. When she got home from work, we went to get um, food. So we had some dumplings at some place nearby very close and it was really good and really cheap and then we I updated her on like what's been going on with me because she she said that all the brothers were going to want to know um like my story so she thought it best if I told her so that she can tell them what they need they want to know in Mandarin because I can't communicate very well so then the next day uh she also she still had to um do some stuff so I ventured out. Hello, today is October 2nd, it's a Thursday and last night was my first night here in Taiwan and it was really really hot. <laughs> I had to have the fan on the whole time and I am not, I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear makeup here, it's just so hot like you're constantly like sweating and it's sticky and it's icky but I don't mind too much because um, my legs seem to like it so um, despite all of the um, exercise I did yesterday, they actually feel pretty good right now, so I think it's due to the heat. And right now I'm gonna go get something to eat. Um, everything here is like in Chinese and it's not in Korean, like in Korean at least I could read Korean so I could kind of make do, but I can't really read anything. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think. I'm, I know I'm going to go to the 7-Eleven for my first time because it's a little bit more touristic friendly but I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of my trip here because I'm kind of on my own. I'm like, oh. So, and today is meeting so I'll show some of that too. So, we'll show in a bit. Okay. Here are my own set of keys. So apparently the one that opens this door is this one I believe. But I'm actually inside, so I don't have to use it. And then this door. Ooh, focus, focus, focus. It's this it, really interesting looking key. Look at this. I asked her about it, and she was like, oh, yeah, that's so Taiwanese. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and... Oh, I left my light on. I'm gonna go turn it off. The light, I see the light. And then this last key is for this door right here. And you can kind of hear the um, older um, Chinese people. There's like a group of them like out there. And uh, the sister said, um, Kirsten said that they're always just there drinking tea or beer, like all day. And so um, she says that it's pretty safe this building because they're always there and they're very nosy. So they always want to know what's going on and they know who's coming in, who's coming out. So she says like if anyone were to come into this apartment that is not someone who usually comes in, like they would know about it. Okay, I don't want them to think I'm that weird, so I'm not gonna film myself walking out. Okay, once I get more comfortable, maybe. To a family mart, which is kind of like a 7-Eleven, and I got myself some breakfast, which was some uh, congee, and some coffee milk, and some bananas. So, and then I came back and like, I had my, my breakfast. Look at the type of spoon they give. This is what the kanji looks like.
Oh, it smells good. It smells nice and fishy. Let me see how it, if it tastes good. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's really, really good. Okay. I'm hungry. And I gotta do my prayer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then that day, also, there was meeting. So I went to my first meeting on Thursday. And all the brothers were really nice. A lot of them know a little bit of English. And then the next day, I kind of... She worked all day, so I kind of stayed home and was editing the Korean videos and I only ventured out for food. I had another kanji, it wasn't as good as the whitefish kanji I had the day before. And then when I got hungry for lunch, I went out and I didn't want to go to the convenience store again. So I was like, oh, what can I do? So I just came back from out there because I was hungry. like, <laughs> And the, so I went and I got passed by like this little lunchbox making place that she had pointed out but I was kind of scared to go in there because I'm like I don't know what to say and then he caught me looking at some of the food so he's like I think he said Do you want food and I was like mm -hmm. so then like he kind of helped me out and then so that's what I got here I'll show you right now so. this is Dahlia uh, I don't know what you would call it because um, it is, um, what time is it? It's not dinner time. Okay, I cannot do this with one hand. There we go. Mm. Ooh. Oh, it smells good. It's, I think it's duck. It doesn't really look like chicken. But when I taste it, I guess I'll find out. But it really does look like duck. And then there's some eggplant, some green greens, and some tofu. That's very interesting. So, let's see. I'll try a tiny little piece of this. Good. This is um not as strong the the flavor of these greens, which is good. Tofu. Mm. This is good. Yeah, I am so certain this is duck. Look at that. That's duck. And then the next day was the day that was the busiest for me, which was Saturday. I had a Taiwanese breakfast. It's kind of like a flour tortilla with something in it. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but the texture was a little bit flour tortilla-ish. And some coffee, so that was nice. And then I went on the back of the motor scooter Kirsten's for the first motor scooter, and I was a very nervous, but I did it because we had to go to the group. And it's not that bad. In the beginning, I was more scared. Now I'm getting um, more used to it. But like, it has this like metal thing in the back that I that I hold on for dear life, and it's a it's a bit more reassuring that if I hold on to that. But it's still a little nerve wracking for me because I'm not used to to doing stuff like that riding on the back of motor scooter. But we went to the group. And it was nice. Uh, it was at a, at a couple's house and they had these cute little white baggy. It was really cute. And they put me with Kirsten and we did um, service. But during service, I slipped a little bit. I slipped down some stairs and I banged up my elbow and I got really dizzy. And But all in all, I'm, I'm good. Thankfully, um, it was okay. I didn't you know, hurt myself too much. I banged my elbow and it feels it like feels really bruised, but it, it's not bruised. So it's really strange. Like even Kirsten was like, "Why is your elbow fine?" Because like if I just like brush against it, it hurts a lot. 
So I don't know. We I we bought some patches. Um, she took me to the pharmacy and I got some patches, pain patches, which are common here, and I been wearing them continuously. So maybe that helped. I really don't understand why I'm not bruised. Just